Good, good morning to you and welcome to Kingdom Moments. I am your host, Pastor Gerald Kirby of Lighthouse Church in Pensacola, Florida. Kingdom Moments exists to share the whole gospel of God with our family, capital I, capital L, capital Y. Today's focus, but wait, there's more. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 4, 17. We now come to the last part of the whole gospel of God, the truth of the coming kingdom of Christ. To many, salvation involves accepting Jesus Christ and then going to heaven one day. Although that is true, it's also incomplete. When you look back at the topics we have covered, we have looked at the gospel of grace, your true identity in Christ, and the power of Holy Spirit. And yet, those three very important and vital areas actually point to something else, the coming kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we saw in the gospel of grace, your initial salvation and entrance into heaven are a guarantee. However, entrance into the kingdom of heaven is based on how you live your life here, post-cross. Now, before you start going into overdrive, trying to do things for God so that he will be pleased with you, the very first and the very most important thing to remember about your Christian life, this side of the cross, is to remember Hebrews 11, verse 6. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. You and I are called to live a life of faith. That is, we live and have our being based on what the creator of the universe has said and what he has personally communicated to us. Yes, you are called to live a life of works, and we're going to discuss that in detail tomorrow, Lord willing, but those works can never be done by merely you alone in your strength and your attempts. You must incorporate the grace of God. And remember, the grace of God is God's power working on your behalf, right? Jesus going to the cross is a picture of grace. It is something only God could have done. And he did it for us. Now, living our life of faith is exactly the same. We discussed this yesterday in our time together with the Lord. Faith is acting on what God said. The priest of the Jordan, David with the stone, Moses with the rock, Abraham with Isaac. For each and every one of them, there was a part that they did first, and then God took over. Remember, it's the same with your prayer language when you pray in tongues. Give God the syllables, don't worry about how goofy you may sound, and just let Holy Spirit take over as He prays for you. The reason for the introduction to the power of Holy Spirit in your life right now, and the reason for this introduction is before we speak on the gospel of the kingdom and the coming king, we must understand that without Holy Spirit, we will never, ever, ever be able to even see the truth of the kingdom. What do I mean by that? You won't be able to understand the truth of the kingdom without Holy Spirit. You won't be able to enter into the kingdom of heaven unless he works through you, unless he works on you, unless he works with you, unless he works for you. Intimacy and closeness to God are your foundation here as we step into the more mature things of God. Now, Father God will show you amazing things, both in the life on this earth and your spiritual life. All of them will be amazing, promise. However, to me, the fact that God desires his children to have part in a literal coming of Jesus, to reign with Jesus, to rule with Jesus, just seems over the top. But folks, that's our God. He is most definitely over the top. Thank you so much for your time. 
and your attention today. I truly appreciate it. I pray that the session has encouraged you, blessed you, uplifted you to see your new life in Christ and what we are all striving for. Take care, family. I love you.